Uh, first, I wanted to just review a little bit. You know, last Saturday, I met with um, head football coach Kevin Sumlin in my office uh, and notified him that we had determined we needed to go in a different direction with our football program. Uh, later that afternoon, I talked directly to our assistant coaches and extended football staff. I then met with our team as well. Um, both of those groups inside the Cole and Jeannie Davis Sports Center, um, you know, practicing the social distancing, but I thought it was very important that we met face to face. These are uh, challenging times and it certainly impacts lots of people in our program. Um, you know, I met with the, when I met with the coaching staff and the team, uh, I reinforced that uh, this decision was uh, to terminate Coach Sumlin was not based on what happened last Friday night or at that time last night. Obviously, that was a very difficult situation. Uh, it's not where we wanted to be, but it was really a holistic a, a view of our program and the future direction of it. Um, as you're aware, the uh, uh, financial buyout of the contract uh, is significant, um, and the conversations have begun between both parties regarding uh, where that will land um, and, uh, and, and what the ultimate outcomes will be. Uh, the buyout will be rolled into this year's overall financial position in this fiscal year. Um, and I'll provide updates when we have those in the future about the specifics and, and really where that lands following those conversations with the parties involved in the separation. You know, the financial plan that we have uh, includes the need for our fans, um, our ticket buyers, our stakeholders, our donors, our community to have a belief and a faith in our football program and the future direction of our football program. It's critical to the future of our athletic department. Um, some might ask, why would we do that? Why would we make the decision to change now? Um, why would we face ourselves with that contractually obligated buyout? You know, I'd say, quite frankly, we, we cannot, we could not afford not to do that. We had to move forward. Um, the importance, of, as I said, of our financial recovery, um, the importance that it is to our, our football program is to our stakeholders. Quite frankly, a failure to act would have resulted in significant compounding of our financial outlook of our financial and, and have real serious financial consequences going forward um, for our, this athletic program. And then ultimately for our student athletes and our ability to address their needs and their programs here at, at U of A. A couple things uh, on the search process. You know, um, last Sunday, we began the national search for a new head football coach, um, a real disciplined process where we uh, built a strong profile. You've heard me uh, at times uh, mention those things. We can talk about it more here, but uh, what, what will be required for our next head football coach? You know, first we need someone who's committed to the mission and the purpose of the University of Arizona and of Arizona Athletics, our department. We need someone who is committed to uh, an athlete's total success, our CATS program. That's the fundamental purpose of our program, um, rooted um, in the history of this program, initiated by Cedric Dempsey, the great athletic director here, that really ensures that we have one of the greatest student athlete experiences here, really is our bones. And we'll talk about bones, the U of A bones, as we continue this conversation. Uh, but that's what we're, we're, we're built on, are those bones of a, a full success program for our student athletes. We need someone who embodies the incredible bear down spirit that is what this program is all about. We need someone with great integrity, great character, uh, someone who, who cares deeply about their players, someone who is passionate about this job, about this university, about this athletic program, about this community, about this state, um, that they look at this as an incredible opportunity. We need a program builder, someone who can attract great assistant coaches around them to help our young men, help our football program move forward. We need someone who, who really can bring together and build on the bones of U of A football. And that is you know, the history, the great tradition and history of our program, the real fundamental principles that build Arizona football, that have built it in the past. And we can find that person uh, as we go forward. 
everybody makes mistakes and you're not the only person who thought that Kevin Sumlin would win games here. But what would you say you learned from that process that you'll apply to this one going forward? Um, I think that, uh, again, we're, we're really focused on trying to find the right person and the right fit for this program. Um, I think many times you can become focused on certain aspects of skill sets um, and may lose focus on the overall totality uh, of what you need. And uh, trying to step back, trying to really evaluate where our program is today. And where our program is today, I firmly believe we need a strong leader who can assemble a group, a staff, uh, that can help a head coach be very successful here. You know, assistant coaches have so much contact with our, with our student athletes, with our players on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, obviously, they need to be great recruiters, but they need to be great teachers, coaches, mentors. Um, so it's, again, I, I'm looking for someone that has a, that concept of building an overall program. Um, someone who has some skill sets but complements it across the board with a really good staff of, of people so we can stay focused on what we need right now. And I, I just believe it's strong leadership, the ability to see, to, to build a program uh, so we can have sustained success going forward. Um, have you spoken to any candidates about the job? We've had ongoing conversations with numerous individuals that have interest, that we have interest in. Uh, that's been going since Sunday. Let me be clear, contrary to um, inappropriate reports throughout different channels of the media, we've not offered a job to anyone. We've had no final discussions with anyone. What timeline are you looking at I mean, in terms of when you would like to get this done, is this something you would like to get done before Christmas? Does it matter if it flows into the beginning of the year? Well, hey, you're going to hear the the standard term, but uh, but I believe, and I mean it, and I'm I'm very genuine about it. Look, we're going to move as quickly, as swiftly as we can, but as thoroughly. We've got to be thorough and diligent, and uh, those those two things uh, can work together. Uh, they, they might string, you know, they might slow things down, but we need to make sure that we're moving quickly. That's important so that we can get someone on the ground and begin to turn this football program that we can get to, that we can provide and show a direction to our current players. But at the same time, we need to do it the right way. We need to, you know, work through uh, a process that is quick, but, uh, but thorough. Um, so, you know, we will we'll do that in that order. I, I'm not gonna put a, a stake in the ground and, and, uh, and start to circle around different dates. We're gonna move as, as quickly and as thoroughly as we can. Number one, given everything that you've said so far, uh, does the, the new coach need to have any direct or tangential ties to the University of Arizona or past coaches at the University of Arizona, such as uh, Coach Tomey? I think a per, I think it's critical that a person understand our values, that they understand our history, they understand our tradition. Um, I believe there are people that can uh, develop a plan, incorporate an assistant coaching uh, group, assistant coaches group, um, have a philosophy that is, that is similar to those that have been here before that have seen success. Um, so that, I believe that's important. And, um, so yes, there needs to be some recognition of the power that exists here and tapping into that power of our past. That will be important going forward. Okay, uh, question number two, um, to what extent is President Robbins involved in this process and is, is it any different than it was the last time? Uh, Dr. Robbins and I talk uh, on a regular basis, uh, numerous times, usually a day. So we are, uh, in lockstep and working together on this process as we do with many of our significant issues and searches in the athletic department. Okay, and then finally, are you concerned or how concerned are you about the current state of the roster? Um, there, a lot of guys have um, trans, you know, put themselves in the transfer portal, um, opted out, et cetera. That's been going on for almost a year now. Um, where's your level of concern as, as far as personnel um, heading into next season and future seasons? I want, I want young men that, that feel good about this program and want to be part of this program. A first step to that is um, 
you know, finding the next head coach and, and staff so that we can engage with those young men um, and, and talk about their futures. Uh, you know, this is a different day and age. Um, there's, there's so much movement in college football and uh, we tend to get a little bit stuck in our own bubble here. Certainly we do not want young men leaving. I think this is a, a good spot for them. Uh, at the same time, this is kind of the way of, of the, uh, of the world right now in college athletics. Um, but we will, we'll move again, moving, moving quickly and swiftly is important, but we want to move the right way so that we can again, embrace those people and those young men to come in here. It was a very unique year with, uh, being the COVID year, um, the opt-outs, all of the different things that are going on. Um, you know, it, it's, it's going to take some time to, uh, to come back and embrace those young men. And I, I believe they'll, They'll see the new leader. They'll see the direction of the program um, and, and feel the passion. And uh, it's got to be right for everyone.